it is your favorite Jersey girl, and you might notice a little bit of a difference on my eyes. Guess what, bitches? That's because we're doing two looks today. Yes, ma'am. I'm bringing everything that I can to you because I want you guys to learn all the stuff that I know so we can share our tips and do makeup together and be beautiful. Anyway, this side is the full cut crease and this side is the half cut crease. So after you watch this tutorial, you'll have to be the one to judge and let me know what side you like better. Don't forget to comment below. Also, let me know if you have any updates, feedback, anything you want to see. I'm going to be doing some awesome looks for Halloween, so please keep your eyes out for that. Also, please don't forget that for the month of October, I am donating $50 for every 100,000 views and $50 for every 10,000 subscriptions to the No Kill Network organization. They help to stop euthanization and kill shelters on the eastern coast. If you want more information, please go to nokillnetwork.org and please help me to make a difference. Like this video, give me a big thumbs up, share it, subscribe, tell all your friends. And if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so we're going to do some really fun stuff today. And the first thing that we are going to dig into is this awesome looking tin, whatever, I don't know what you want to call it. And it came with a moisturizer. It opens up and has uh, like a primer and an eye potion and some really cool stuff. So priming our face today, we're going to use all this fun stuff. And obviously the first thing we are going to dig into is our moisturizer. You guys have seen it here first. This is my first time using it. So let's see how it is. Ooh. Okay, I like it. And it smells amazing. Let me put my headband on. Next thing we're gonna go into is our Firm It Up Eye Serum. And I'm just gonna start with a very little bit because I feel like you probably don't need much of this stuff. I'm gonna go into the Pore Professional Pro Bomb to minimize the appearance of pores. We're gonna use this as our primer. For our foundation today, I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. It is my favorite, so we're using it. And my color is medium beige. So now that we have our foundation on, we're going to conceal everything, and I'm going to use the NARS concealer, this color is custard. creases under our eyes. I'm going to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to pick up this yellow color on this fluffy brush. This is from Sephora. It is the Pro Crease 10 and I'm just running it under my eyes so we can set our concealer and we don't get any creases. Next I'm going to take my LA Girl Concealer. This color is Fun, and I'm going to apply it to the bridge of my nose. To bake our faces, which we all know is like our favorite thing to do, 
I'm going to take the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to take this flat lined brush. This is from Sephora and I'm going to outline where I want to contour. I'm going to be using the Benefits Defined and Refined Brows. So the first thing we're going to do is condition our brows with this conditioning primer. And now we're going to get started on our brows and I'm going to use this pencil to do so. It is a twist top which is really cool. So say a little prayer for me, give me a moment of silence on this one. going to take this tinted eyebrow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just apply it to my brows to set everything. I wiped all of that setting powder away with this big fluffy brush. This is from Morphe. It's the M320. I'm going to prime my eyes with the NYX primer. This is ESB01. And to do that, I am just going to take a flat brush like this one. To set everything, I'm going to go into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and take that light color all the way on the ends and just brush it along my eyes so we can set that primer and give us an even base. Okay, now for the fun part. Like I said in the intro, I'm going to do one eye with a entire cut crease and the other eye with a half cut crease. So let's do the half on the right and the full on the left. To really give that line, I'm going to use scotch tape and I'm going to put it on the back of my hands a couple times just so it's not super sticky on my face and I'm going to line it up. I'm going to dip in to my Mary Kay Gel Black Liner and I'm going to take this itty bitty tiny pencil. It is from K Concepts. It's for the half side, I'm just going to create a V. So this is what we have so far. And I know it looks a little bit crazy, but do not worry about it. We're gonna make it look fantastic. So with this big fluffy brush, this is from MAC. Going into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and picking up this really pretty color. And I'm just going to lightly go over it to kind of set a base. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M139 and I'm going to go back in my Kat Von D and I'm going to pick up that light brown all the way on the end. And I'm going to really go into my crease with this. With this small brush from IT Cosmetics, I'm going to go in with this beautiful red color and really smudge it out. I'm actually going to take this brush. It's a little bit fluffier and I like this one better for what we're doing. So I'm going into that red color just with this brush. This angle brush, I'm going to go over our crease a little bit where we kind of outlined everything in the black with this brown color. With this big fluffy brush that we used originally, I'm going to go back into that really pretty tannish color and just blend everything upward and forward. I'm 
I'm going to go into the Stella Cream Contour with a flat brush and start outlining my lid where I want to put a shadow. I'm going to take a flat brush, spray with my setting spray so everything really sticks to it. And I'm going to take this little Ladybug palette. It's from Clinique. And I'm going to take this silver color. I'm going to go back into my Shade and Light palette with that reddish color again and with our small dome brush and once again just really define everything. With that same silver, I'm going to put it a little bit in my hollow and just drag it down a bit. I'm going to take a flat brush like this one from Sephora and go back into our Kat Von D Shade and Light palette for this color all the way on the end. And I'm going to put a little white in it and use that for my brow bone. And one last time, we're just going to take that big fluffy brush we originally used to blend everything together. For liner today, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D. This is a Kat Von D day, obviously. So I'm going to put my liner on. Um, I would recommend leaving the tape on because it works really well with liner. You can actually kind of angle it the way you want it to be. And also, if you mess up and a little bit goes on the tape, it's no problem because it's not your face. So I will be right back. To really kind of clean up where we have that tape, I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer so we can get it back to the right color. So with this little dome brush that we used before, it still has a little bit of product on it, but that's okay. I'm gonna take that first reddish tone color that we used and apply it underneath my eye on my lash line. For this eye that's a little bit lighter, I'm going to take this light brown color and apply it underneath this eye, and I'm going to take the dark brown color and apply it under this eye. For the lighter eye, I'm going to be using ColourPop's uh, pencil liner. This is a brown color, and it is called Stomper. My darker side, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs gel liner. For mascara today, I'm going to be using the Benefits Real Lash. I love, love, love this mascara. It's one of my favorites and I adore the packaging. I am going to apply my lashes really quick and I will be right back. To set our faces, we're going to use a fluffy brush like this one. This is from Sephora. It's number 31. And since we're just having a Kat Von D day, I'm going to use the Kat Von D powder and apply it to my face. back into our Kat Von D shade and light palette for the face and pick up that middle color and contour our cheeks. With this little brush I'm going to go into that same middle color and contour my nose. take my fan brush and go into my Becca highlighter. This color is opal and I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. Also going to go a little bit on my forehead. 
in circular motions on my cupid's bow, my chin, and my nose. With this big fluffy brush, I'm going to go into this Sephora blush. It is called Too Hot, and I'm going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks. For lips, I'm going to use a Lancome pencil, and I'm sorry, but it doesn't have like a name or a number. It might be worn off, but this is the color. lips I'm going to use NYX this number is 15 and now we're gonna spray it is up to you to judge if you like the side that's a little bit more intense with the full cut crease or the side that's a little bit more natural with the half cut crease and a wispier lash Okay guys, so this is the final look and I hope that you learned a little bit about a full cut crease and a half cut crease. It's not as intimidating as it looks, just make sure you blend bitches. Please comment below, let me know what side you like better and also what you want to see more of. Please don't forget that for the month of October, I am donating $50 for every 100,000 views and $50 for every 10,000 subscriptions to the No Kill Shelters of the Eastern Coast. If you want more information, then go to nokillnetwork.org and please keep a lookout for my videos. I love you, Bunny, so much.